Hi guys, welcome back to Angel Art. I'm Gretchel. Thank you for joining me here today again. Today I'm very excited for the colors. Let's start by just showing you the colors. I have Talon's Gold. And I think this gold is even prettier than Amsterdam Gold. That's just my opinion. And I have a very full cup as you can see. This is a color I've been make custom mixing, alright, so it's actually Talon's Brilliant Blue and I've mixed in green and different colors but it has like, it's a semi-gloss because I've mixed a matte paint with a glossy paint so it's semi-gloss, semi semi-gloss, glossy and it's like a teal color uh, then I have like a dark teal, and then I have Talon's Black. My plan for today is to do something crazy. You know what I like about doing something crazy? So most of the time, whenever I think, well, I'll just do something different, I do love what I'm doing, all right? But the, the great part of that is that you're just going to make something totally different than you always do. Okay, so let's go for it. So I think this is going to be it for today. The lighter teal, the black, the gold, and the, uh, and the dark teal. Let's begin. Oh, I saw something go in there. All right. The light to teal, the black. Saving some, you never know. My pretty gold. And the dark. Bear with me. Let's go crazy with the split cup. Rings, wild rings, and then a beautiful ring pour. On. Let's see if my colors are all gonna come out. So I'm going for a crazy ring pour here. It's more like a ribbon. So yeah, why not? I just said I'm doing something funky, something different. Oh, wow. I'm gonna reverse my ring pour a few times. question is do I want the ring pour to run off here? I do think so. I think I want something totally different than I usually get. Let's just start turning this baby a bit. I'm not going for the perfect round 
ring pour. I'm losing here now. Let's see. I don't think I like this line diagonal, so I'm gonna try and bring that line back down. But I do love these li thick, broader lines and then the finer lines. Yeah. Let's do something. So, let's see where the weight is on the bottom. Bring that piece back out a bit more, as you can see. And well, let's bring that corner down first. Paint is still here. Let's bring it over there. Last corner first. Okay, this was the ribbon, 
you know, in the beginning, the crazy part that I just did these strange round ribbons. That was this part. And then I went over to the ring pour. Well, you can see when you do ribbons, your lines are more uh, wider than when you go do the uh, ring pour. I had expected much more green in this pour. I must say, I'm very happy with the colors. I'm very happy in total. I love the design. I think from your side, the design is really at... No, I think from your side, the design is really... It draws your eyes into this part. Uh, yeah, looking at these crazy cells I'm getting, let's hope I don't get too much because I'm not a fan. I really think I did have a consistency problem. And it looks like the black is thinner than other colors. You can just see here that the black is like bleeding a bit in the other colors. And that's because the black just still was thinner than the rest. Here as well. But do I like her less? Definitely not. So let's go. I just love the ribbon part. I mean, I did a lot of ribbon pours because I do love the line. I just love lines. So, yeah, love the ribbon. And here it looks like the paint is just has these waves in it, as you can see. Yeah, I'm looking like at a little natural pool. But you see that smoky part? That's just the black bleeding into the gold. But I'm still just loving her. Let's go up and look at the whole picture from your side. I hope you liked my video and if you did don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and hit that notification bell for me so we can meet each other every week. Thank you for your support. Greetings and love from the Netherlands.